What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Madden Sunday School, this time episode 5. And today we're going to be going over a basic passing concept called the Ohio concept. Now, one thing to note, if you go into your playbook and you're looking at the filters, now you have formation, which is what most people use, concept, play type, personnel, recent plays, and random play. If you go by concept and go to your passes, you have quick pass, medium pass, and deep pass along with play action, uh, which is mainly bootleg type of stuff. But this is a fantastic way to learn all of the different route combos and concepts that are throughout Madden 17 and going into Madden 18, obviously. This will still be there. Uh, so this is a great way to learn those different concepts, learn what kind of coverages uh, that these concepts are good against, learn what they're bad against, and just to know situationally when to break out what concept. So the first one I want to go over is the Ohio concept, and it even gives you a little description here. So it says out route by inside receiver and go route by the outside receiver. So we're going to go ahead and go into that. And so now all these plays have that type of you know, concept, whether it be on one side of the formation on, or on the other. Right here, weak flood. You can see on the left side there, you see the fade route and the out route. St. Sale dig, same thing on the left side. Slot outs, so you have it on both sides right there. So the play I'm going to use here is Y option angle. So we're going to go ahead, go in. I'm going to run it against some base defenses, kind of go over what it's good against, what it's not good against. So first things first, I'm going to go against a normal Tampa 2 defense right here out of nickel 335 Sam. And so now, one thing to note is that this concept is best used, in my opinion, whenever you are on one of the hashes, whether it be the right hash or the left hash, it's best run to the wide side of the field. There is, a, you know, you're stretching that out route right there. That's kind of the primary target you want to go to, and so you want him to have as much field to work with as possible. So basically, what you're going to see here against cover two, uh, this is a great concept, in my opinion, against cover two because you are stretching that flat zone. So right across from Willie Sneed, uh, that corner right there is going to be in a flat zone, whether it be a cloud flat, a hard flat, or a soft squat. He's going to be playing one of those three zones in a standard cover two style defense, and he's going to have to make the decision, do I sink back with Willie Sneed to guard that little pocket between him and the safety, or do I bite down onto Brandon Cooks? And that's when you make the read based off of what he does, and you throw it to the correct receiver. So right here, you're going to see, gets pressed at the line, and we're going to go ahead, throw to Brandon Cooks, get up the sideline. It really helps, obviously, when you have someone like a Brandon Cooks in the slot, and you know go ahead and turn up the field and get some nice rack yardage here so what you're gonna see here in this instant replay is Sneed's gonna get pressed at the line they actually both get pressed but you see Sneed's running his out route Sneed's breaking right here and this corner right here in a typical Tampa 2 defense is gonna be in a cloud flat you can see he's still drifting back drifting back drifting back so he's still covering Willie Sneed all the way right here you see he plants and starts clamping down on Cooks that's when I'm releasing the ball but by the time I release it, I go ahead, I throw a down and outside pass lead. So with the left analog stick, you're going to want to point it into like a 730. If you think of a clock, kind of a 730 pass lead, I actually went with a low pass here. So both a low pass lead, a left trigger, or in Madden 18, it'll actually be the left bumper. But for now, Madden 17, left trigger to throw a low pass along with the down and outside pass lead. Let Brandon Cooks come back. You can see... Cook's kind of running his route here. You can see how he comes back to the ball right here. He angles back towards it, comes up with the catch, and then he's able to get to the corner and turn up field because he is Brandon Cooks and has all that speed. So this is a consistent concept that you're going to see against cover two. This is basically what you're going to get almost every single time. I'm not saying you're going to turn up field every single time, but you will be able to basically complete that in front of that cloud flat zone almost every time um, right here once again almost got to the corner there but a cloud flat is never going to come up and jump that you can see very consistent way of attacking cover two and it's a, not a very common way but it is a good way that I think it's not flashy because you're not going to get huge you know 80 yard touchdowns off of it but as you can see it's very consistent getting 7 10 you know 15 yards if you get the corner right there cooks fell down twice in a row but you're still getting that seven yards so I think it is worth looking at now against other variations of cover two uh, what you're gonna see is basically against a soft squat you're still gonna have the same success right here I'm gonna go into a cover two sink style defense on defense 
And so the soft squat is on the outside now in a cover two style defense. And what you're going to see actually is the soft squat is going to match the outside for the most part and then come clamp down. But you're still going to have plenty of room to throw that out route to Brandon Cooks as the soft squat actually sinks back even farther than the cloud flat does. Right there, the corner actually did a good job who's in a vertical hook of playing the out route. Uh, but Cooks actually ended up coming down with the tough catch anyway. But right there, you can see the soft squat drops back really far, so you're still going to be able to hit uh, that out route right there against that soft squat in a cover two sink style defense, or uh, whether it be cover two sink or you know some of those zone blitzes, cover two shell style blitzes. Uh, you see a lot of soft squats on the outside in those. And then for the last type of cover two is the cover two hard flat right there, the Y button call out. And basically what you're going to see on this is uh, the flat zone is going to play Cooks really aggressively, and that's when you're going to be able to squeeze it into Sneed on the back end. So right there, uh, the flat zone plays really aggressively. You squeeze it into Sneed right behind him, and as you can see right there, you can get some big yardage. So if your opponent gets tired of you throwing that out route, throwing that out route, and then you hit him uh, with that fade route, show him you have the ability to make that progression and make that read, uh, you can really make him pay for it. So very effective concept against cover two in my opinion. Also very effective against man-to-man. -man. Out routes inherently uh, are very good against man-to-man -man this year and basically every year in Madden, especially uh, when you have a faster and you know the better, the, the more speed and the better route running you have out of that slot position running this out route, obviously the better. So someone like Brandon Cooks right there actually gets caught up. Jalen Collins did a good job playing defense there, uh, but Cooks was still able uh, to get to the outside and come down with a tough catch right there pressure got to me. Collins actually doing a very good job of playing defense, but I can go to the other side here and you can see Fleener getting that separation on the out route. Good thing about this formation and this play is basically uh, the route combo is mirrored on both sides. So uh, Jalen Collins doing a good job locking up Brandon Cooks. You just go to the other side with Kobe Fleener on the linebacker for the mismatch. So very effective against both cover two and man-to-man. -man. Now a defense where it's not very effective against, in my opinion, is against cover three. So let's go ahead and run it a few times against cover three, standard nickel, 335 Sam, cover three sky press. And kind of what you're going to see is that uh, the deep zone does a good job on that left side of the field, taking away the fade route by Willie Sneed. And then the curl flat zone, who is actually Jalen Collins right across from Brandon Cooks, is going to do a great job of taking away Cooks's out route. So you don't really have that same pocket, you know, between the cornerback and the safety that you're able to attack like in a cover two, in a cover three. So uh, that, that pocket's just not going to be there, and you're going to see both receivers really get blanketed. You can try and squeeze that in, but that's not something you're really comfortable with at all. Uh, we can go ahead and take a look at it on instant replay here, and you can see just kind of how it happens, right? So Willie Sneed, not going to get open unless you're comfortable throwing a one-on-one -on -one aggressive catch. Maybe if you have a stud receiver like a Julio, Odell Beckham, DeAndre Hopkins, A.J. Green, um, I feel like I'm missing one. Antonio Brown, there you go. Uh, one of those guys, maybe you throw, you know, one on one, you feel comfortable him going up over your opponent's corner and getting it. But in this case, Willie Sneed, you don't feel great about that matchup right there. So uh, it's not really an open receiver. It's kind of a check with me if you feel comfortable uh, putting your receiver in a one on one situation. So he's not going to be open. And then uh, this curl flat does a great job, along with this hook curl zone, actually, of bracketing the out route. And the curl flat's going to carry him to the sideline. And that's not really a throw you feel comfortable with at all. If the curl flat jumps the route, that's a pick six. That is one thing I will say about this concept. Do not throw that out route late or else, you know, if your opponent does jump it, it's a pick six because he's got the momentum going the other way and there's nobody in his way to stop him. So unless you have a super fast quarterback who can run him down. But uh, definitely a tip, don't throw that out route late into the flats but as you can see it's just going to be blanketed every time you might be able to try to squeeze it in something like that but even that I mean you're getting four yards you don't feel great about uh, I was basically using the same pass lead and the same uh, left trigger low pass against as I was against cover two uh, but you don't feel great about that so the Ohio pass concept guys uh, that basically covers it great against cover two variations great against man-to-man -man, not so great against cover three uh, but definitely uh, let me know what you guys thought of this video let me know what I can do better for next time hope this helped you guys out hope you guys learned something by watching this and last but not least I hope you guys enjoyed the video so until next time guys take it easy Thank you